Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to authenticate with Firebase in your Flutter application. Before we start implementing Firebase authentication in Flutter, it requires you to configure and initialize Firebase in your Flutter project. If you haven't do so, I will pin the tutorial on the top right. Feel free to check them out. In this tutorial, I have created a very simple Flutter UI with just two text fields and one elevated button. And for package dependency, in this tutorial, we will be using three packages, which is Firebase Auth, Firebase Core, and provider. To prevent any version error, make sure you are using the same environment SDK as mine. Once we added the required packages, now we can start coding. Firstly, we need to initialize Firebase before we use any of its services in Flutter project. By adding these two lines, we have initialized Firebase app in our Flutter project. Now we can use Firebase services. Next, I will create a folder to store the authentication code. In the off folder, I will create an authenticate service.dart file. In this file, I will create an authenticate service class that will take a Firebase off instance as a parameter. And this Firebase Auth instance will be passed into the authentication service constructor. This means that whenever we create an authentication service object, we need to pass a Firebase Auth instance. Next, in the class, I will create a stream. This stream will be listening to Firebase Auth state changes and will return the user object. With this stream, we can know that if the user right now is in logged in state or logged out state. After we created the stream, now I will be creating a sign in method. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on sign in with email and password from Firebase. In this sign in method, it will take two parameters, which is an email and a password strings. Here, I will add a try and catch to catch Firebase off exception if there is any error returned from Firebase. To sign in with Firebase, we just have to use the Firebase off instance dot sign in with email and password method. And the email and password parameters, make sure you replace with the parameter that you pass in to the sign in method. And now we have finished with our authentication service class. In this authentication service class, we have a Firebase off instance, a constructor, a stream, and a sign in method. Now we will implement the code in the main file. In the run app, we can no longer return my app stateful widget directly. This is because we want to check if the user is logged in, we will redirect to the home page directly, else we will return to the my app widget. So here I will add a multi provider. The first provider will be used to create an authentication service class object. Here, I will be passing in a Firebase Auth instance to the authentication service constructor. The second provider is a stream provider. Remember, we have created a stream in the authentication service class, and this stream provider is mainly used to create and read that stream. For the initial data, we will pass in null. Now we have done initializing provider, which all of our child widget now will have access to the content of the multi provider. Now we will add the child widget for the multi provider and it will return an authentication wrapper widget. 
So above, we have initialized two provider in a multi-provider widget. Now in the authentication wrapper class, we will read the value and decide if we should route the user to my app or homepage based on if the user is logged in or not. So in the provider, we have instantiate and authentication service object and for us to read the user value we just need to call context.watch this will return a user object and we can check if the firebase user variable is null it means that the user is not logged in yet and depends on the firebase user variable value we will route the user to different route but for tutorial purposes i will just return different widgets so if the firebase user value is not now, we will return a home widget and now I will create the home widget. For tutorial purposes, I will make the home widget as simple as possible with just a scaffold and an app bar. Now we left with one final implementation which is the button on press function. Before that, let's make a hot restart and check if everything goes well. So as you can see, after hot restart, it remains in the My App page. It's because the Firebase user is now. Let me show you by print out the Firebase user value in the terminal. As you can see, it printed out now. Means there's no user login yet in this Firebase instance. So to use Firebase authentication, firstly, we need to set up in Firebase. Go to your Firebase console and look for authentication and click on setup sign in method. There are many methods and we will be using email and password. Enable it and click on save. So here we can see that email and password provider is enabled. Now go to the user tab and we can click on add user. Here we will create one email and password for testing. After clicking on add user, we have successfully created an account. Now we will try to sign in with this email and password in the Flutter app. So we will go to the elevator button and in the on press function, we will execute the sign in method that we created in the authentication service class. And for the email and password parameter, we will pass in the controller text for each text field. Now let's hot restart the application. Here I will input the email and password that I created in the Firebase just now and execute the button. And as you can see, I'm redirected to the home page. It means that I'm logged in now and the Firebase user variable have the account user data. Now let me show you by printing out the Firebase user variable. As you can see, the terminal printed out a user object that have the account's email that I created in Firebase just now. And this is how we authenticate with Firebase in Flutter application. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.